2007 through 2011 Honda CRV rear door actuator replacement. I'm Brian Nessa from How to Automotive. I'm going to walk you through the steps of replacing that actuator. To get started, we're going to remove the rear door panel. And to do that, and to do that, the first thing we're going to do is take a flat blade screwdriver and remove this little cover right behind the door handle here. Once you get that off, you can go ahead and remove the two Phillips screws behind here. After that, we're going to use a pick tool like this. And we're going to pick out this little rubber plug that's at the very bottom of the uh, pull handle here. So you have to pick it in there and pull this little rubber uh, plug up. Once you get this plug pulled up, then there's going to be a Phillips screw right underneath here. Once you have that removed, the next step is going to be right here at the top of the pull handle. There's going to be a little plug that we need to get off. You're going to use the pick tool again to pick this little cover off. So you'll, you'll slide it in there, pull the cover out. And inside this cover will be another Phillips screw. So this is the screw I'm talking about. You'll remove that screw. Once you get that removed, then you'll use your pick tool again. And you'll pick this cover off at the very bottom here. Once you get this cover open, behind here will be another Phillips screw that you'll remove. Now with a panel popping tool, you can feed it underneath the door panel at the bottom here and pop it at loose. And every couple inches there'll be a clip, so you're going to pull and pop the clip loose. So you're going to work your way all the way around the door from the left and right side until all the clips are popped loose. Once you get all those popped free, the panel will be loose like this. So before we can take the panel off, we need to pop this little panel right here above the door panel. It's a little triangle shape. You'll use your panel popping tool again and pull the, the cover outwards just like this and pull it off and set aside. Now you can grab on the left and right side of the door panel, pull out, lift up, and then pull towards you and the panel will come off. After the door panel is removed from the door frame, now we need to push the door handle here. So you'll push it inwards and it's going to pop off the door panel like this. Now there's going to be a one electrical connector for the window switch here. So you'll push the little tab and then pull the electrical connector off. So when you get it pushed, it'll look like this. Next, we're going to remove the weather barrier. So you're going to pop this little clip off here in the corner and you're going to slowly start peeling the weather barrier back like this. We only need to go about halfway back or about three quarter way back. So you're going to peel that back. And as you do, you're going to have to remove this little bracket here that hold the door pull on. So remove that. And once you get that removed, you can unplug the door lock actuator right here. And just squeeze the tab and pull the electrical connector off. Now you can peel the weather barrier back a little further. And you're going to pull the wiring harness through the plastic like this. So then you're going to just peel that weather barrier back until you get plenty of room to work on it. Now on the side of the door, there's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt here that you're going to remove. After that, we need to remove the three Phillips screws here. The best way to do that is to use an impact screwdriver. So you'll put the impact screwdriver in the screw, lightly hit the end of it with a hammer. You don't want to hit it super hard because this is soft metal and it can bend. Once you get those three screws removed, there's going to be one more Phillips screw right here next to the plug for the door lock actuator. Remove that. Now the actuator is free. But there's going to be one more rod that's connected to the handle on the inside here. So we need to pop this little plastic clip open. Then you're going to use a flat blade screwdriver to stick it in between and pop the rod out of the handle like this. Now the actuator is pretty much loose. But to get it out, we need to slightly move the window track over to the left. Then you'll twist the actuator slightly counterclockwise like this. And that'll, that'll pull it around the window track here, and then you're able to get it out. You don't want to push that window track over too far. You just want to slightly move it out of your way. So when you pry this window track, you just want to lightly twist it and kind of push it towards the, the door like this. So this is the part numbers for the left rear. I will also link up the right rear. That way the parts will be available for left and right door. So next you want to take the two parts and lay them side by side and we need to transfer over the door cables and handle over to the new part. So we're going to take two Phillips screws off here and here. And once you get those two screws off, then you're going to take this plastic cover off. Once this cover is peeled off like this, then we're going to take this little plastic clip here and pop it open. So you're going to push it until it pops open like this. You pop the cable out right here. Then you're going to pop the little plastic cable out like this, transfer it over to the new part. So you'll put it into the, uh, into the hole right here, onto the arm, swing the little plastic ear over, and then you're going to take this part and just push it in until it snaps into place. 
You want to make sure you got this little part, portion of it locked into place like that. Next, we're going to go back over to the old part and we're going to pop the, the cable up like this. You're going to unhook it from the uh, little handle. Then you're going to take the, the rod and put it into the little lever right here. Rotate it downwards once you get it poked in. So you're going to poke it in that little tiny hole right there. And then you're going to line it up with the plastic tab and push it into it locks. Now we're going to take the plastic cover that was on the old part and transfer it over to the new part. And when you go to do this, you kind of have to, um, you have to slide this underneath this little E right here. So it's going to slide under. And then once you get it slid into place, then you can put the two Phillips screws back into position. Now we're ready to put the actuator back in the door. But before we do, we need to take this little rod and it needs to be, and it needs to face upwards like this. So if you, it can be flipped over like that. So you want to make sure it's flipped into this position. Now we're going to feed it back into the door. So what you're going to do is you're going to feed it into the door and you're going to kind of uh, push the door window track out of the way and then you're going to twist it around that window track. So you're going to kind of make it uh, go counterclockwise like we just like we took it out and then rotate it inwards and push it in until it goes, clears the window track. Once you get it back in, you want to make sure that the child safety lock is poking through the hole. The three screw holes are lined up. And the fourth screw hole here, go ahead and start all those screws and tighten those down. Once you get all those tightened down, then you can put the bolt in for the bottom of the window track and tighten that up. After that, you're going to plug the handle in. So you'll push it into the top handle and then you'll flip the little plastic little latch over until it locks into place. After that, you can take your weather barrier and start putting it back on. So you're going to feed your wiring harness through the weather barrier and make sure the cables are routed over the top of the plastic like this. So once you get the weather barrier back into position, then you can plug the door lock actuator back in like this. Next, you need to remount the bracket right here. So you'll put this bracket back on and put the Phillips screw back in it and resecure it like that. After that, we're going to take the door handle here and we're going to reposition it back into the door panel so there's a the little clips that it lines up with so you'll line the door handle up with the clips and then you'll push it on until it clicks into place once it's clicked into place then you can plug the electrical connector back in for the window switch so you'll plug that back in after that we're going to take the door panel and we're going to lift it up into position and you're going to hook it over the edge of the door frame once you get it hooked over the door frame then you got to push the door panel down to make sure it's fully seated. And then after that, you're going to come on the side and you're going to look for the little clips. And you're going to line the clips up with the holes on the side of the door panel. And you're going to just pop the door panel on. Once you got the door panel popped on, you can put the two Phillips screws behind the handle back on. Pop the cover back into position. After that, you can put the Phillips screw at the top of the pull handle. Put the cover back on and pop it back into position. Then we'll move over and we'll put the screw in the... Uh, inside the portion of the handle here. Put the Phillips screw there and then we put the rubber plug back on until it's fully seated. Once that's back on, then we're gonna go below and put the Phillips screw that goes under the pull handle here and resecure that and put the cover back on. Then we're gonna take the triangle cover here and pop it back into place so you just line up with the holes on the, on the uh, door and push it until it locks into position. The last step is to test everything, the handles, the latches, the locks, everything. Make sure everything works in, uh, inside and out. And then once you're done with that, that'll complete the job. I will put links for the actuators for both rear doors in the description of the video. I will also put links for the door panel tools. I'm Brian Essa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. Encourage you to subscribe. Invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. And I'd also like to remind you that experience is everything. Thank you again for watching.